Hey everyone, it's Steve. Welcome to Indie Play Day. Uh, today we're playing Planet Base from Madruga Works. It actually just came out a couple of days ago, the 15th of October. Uh, I basically saw someone say it was very RimWorld-like, and I love that game, so I jumped on it. Let's take a look at this. Pilot base. Cool. Um, yeah, it looked really cool. I was actually... The screenshots are what really drew me in. It has this kind of, like, Mars base thing going on. I really liked it. This playthrough might go longer. I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. I'm going to try a longer form one and see if it's any fun. Actually, no. No, I'll just do 15 this time. So let's start the counter now. Cool. All right. Here's my dudes. I just landed on our planet. And so you have workers, you have engineers, uh, a medic, and oh, biologists. And you have a robot. You have two robots, actually. A carrier bot and a constructor bot. Um, they're here to help you out, and they don't take resources besides, like, repairing them. But, basically, as you go on, you want to use them for more menial tasks. So I'm going to start out. Let's see, I'm going to go start with my oxygen generator. Let's take a look at where I am. Alright, last time I played, I kind of thought it would be cool to wedge myself in a valley, and I got stuck, and I couldn't build anymore. So we're not going to do that this time. Instead... I'm gonna build that right there, and I can't see you guys. There we go. Um, yeah, the O2 generator right there, right in the middle. Most important thing: you're human beings. Got to got to breathe. So let's put an airlock. You gotta think about where like the quote unquote entrance of your base is gonna be. I guess. Let's just put it here. I gotta get used to talking into this microphone. I didn't realize I had to be so close to it. Uh, so you have to connect them. You have to make sure that this is there. <clears throat> so, what do I got now? An airlock and an oxygen generator. Well, to make those work, I need power. Oh yeah, and uh, meteorites hit, depending on how uh, heavy your atmosphere is, I guess, if that's the right word. Um, I'm gonna put a s oh, I'm gonna put a solar panel on the outside of the base here, and then I'm gonna put a water extractor as well. Actually, let me connect these two first. That's inside stuff. A water extractor. Um, so, like most of these kind of games, the uh, the objective is to build your base up, uh, have more people come on, and just have a colony, more or less. Um. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I just played like one let's uh, one uh, session of this game, besides the tutorial. So if I mess up, uh, sorry. else do I need? Um, let's get, let's see, we have these two. Why don't we make a canteen? Yeah. And some of, some of these, um, buildings have, like, dead ends. Like, you can only have one entrance to them. Like, the airlock, for instance. You know, it can connect to outside things, but it can't connect to, it can only connect to one inside thing. I'm gonna make it so I can see inside. So there's no O2 running through there. I'm trying to figure out why. Um, what's going? Oh, here we go. I guess it needed power, and now it does. So solar panels only work during the daytime, obviously. 
So what are we going to do? Build. Um, actually, yeah. We're going to build a large. I just did that by scrolling up. I'm going to build a large one. A large uh, windmill. Wind turbine, sorry. And that'll work day and night. It produces less energy, but it'll get me through the nights. Uh, so let's connect these. So let's see. Wind turbine, water extractor, and your solar panel. Pretty much what you need to get started. Uh, I got my airlock so my guys can come in here and not, you know, be exposed. So they can now breathe. They take off, see? They take off their, their, uh, spacesuits. But we need some more stuff. We need a canteen for one. Oh, I already built one. Derp. Move on then. How about... So these also are a dead end. So you can see that little T there. That basically just means that it's a dead end. I don't know why T is dead end, but whatever. Go with it. And you have to connect all of these so you can go through them. You can't walk outside because obviously there's no atmosphere. And I don't know why these guys are hanging out outside. That's dumb. And that's not good. But look at that. Look what we just built. Now we got to finish that, and maybe we can have some power during the night. So if you guys have ever played RimWorld, I actually really like it. Um, I can kind of see the, the similarities. This seems more sci-fi, while RimWorld is more like Firefly meets colony building. It's, it's like a it's like a space western kind of feel. It's really fun. I highly recommend it. Not to say that this isn't fun. I I really like it so far. I just don't I don't know how deep the game goes yet. I haven't gotten far enough to know. Um but I know Rimworld has a lot of things that can happen that make it interesting. That, you know, keep you on your toes. Every playthrough is different. Etc, etc. So let's, let's see. We have all of our stuff in our little colony ship. And basically, you can just dismantle this. And place all of this stuff in its correct places. But I'm not going to do that yet. I'm going to go ahead and build a processing plant somewhere. How about right here? Now the processing plant has, you can build, uh, uh, it, it has these things where you can, you can create building materials. Um, you'll see in a minute. It's, I'm at a loss for words. I've got to say what I'm trying to say here. Uh, okay, I'm going to do a canteen. Now, you have a building here, but you need to actually fill it with stuff. So, you need chairs for people, obviously. Put that right there. You need a drinking fountain, because we have water. We have water coming in. But, where do people get their drinks from? You can go outside and get a bucket and scoop it up out of your water collector? Nah. You have your water fountain. Put a little TV in here. A little entertainment. And lastly, your meal maker. This is basically... <laughs> it looks like a vending machine. Um, but basically, they take raw food materials and stick it in there, and then you, you get food. Space. You know, the future is a wonderful thing. Okay. You put beds in the uh, dorms, obviously. And uh, it's that's four beds there. I have more people than that, but... They'll take shifts. It's okay. I really need power. I need you guys to step it up. Did it come back on? Oh. Yeah, yeah, it's back on. They're thirsty and they're hungry. Once all this stuff gets built, they'll actually use it instead of sitting on the ground. Um, 
But now that this is built, oh, I gotta wait for the connector. Um, let's see. Now, once I actually start, I guess I kind of am now. I'm gonna build a power collector, and what that's gonna do is it basically works like a battery. It just stores power when you're not directly using it. And this, I keep hitting power outages, so I'm guessing maybe I'm expanding too fast. That's probably why. So I'll I'll chill for a minute. I'll let I'll let things happen. Um. Need a metal processor and a. Nah. Okay, so I'm gonna chill for a little bit, turn up the speed. Why is that red? Oh, because it's running out of O2. That's wonderful. Luckily, the sun's coming up, and my solar panel will help me get power. Yes, that's what I was looking for. Um, and yeah, pretty much, you know, how these games kind of work, you, if you've ever played any of them like it, um, it's very, you know, familiar, and you get these little things when you, when you get further along, it actually takes a cool, like, landscape shot of your base, which I thought was kind of neat, kind of like a, a reward, I guess. Gotta finish that. There's no end going on right now. So, I don't know if you noticed, but when I started the game, uh, there was a readout of the planet, and it can have, like, more wind. You know, like, be a, a windier uh, place. Or it can have, like, a thicker atmosphere so comets don't come in crashing all over... I'm sorry, meteors don't come in and crashing all over the place. Um, you know, there's less of a chance of solar wind or solar solar flares. Yeah, solar flares. Um, and you you unlock other. I don't know how you do it yet, but you unlock other bases. Or I mean, other planets that you can uh, land on. It's pretty cool. I haven't seen any of the other ones yet, but I've seen pictures. There's like an ice planet and a desert planet, even though this kind of looks like a desert. But I'm sure it's just like less habitable, so it's more of a uh, challenge, I guess. Let's go ahead and recycle this. Basically just poops all this stuff out here. And you get to like... Uh, I should build a storage place for them. Uh, but we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. Um, processing plant, dorm canteen I think I need I have a processing plant right I just said that um I have a bit of food left over there so what I'm gonna do is put my my uh, factory here and what that lets me do is build this this makes this processes ores into metals which I need to get to that in a minute factories actually let me Let's see, this makes a uh, starch into bioplastic. Okay, this will actually make it so I can build parts. Some things you need, like to repair these outside equipment, you need parts. So I'm going to do that first, and then I'm going to do, I'm going to make food. Um, because while food's important, I've got some, I've got some food in, in this little pile here, so. But if I don't have manufacturing stuff... I can't build more. So, and that's obviously a problem. Um, I'm gonna build a... I need to build a mine. Um, I, I want this to be finished first. Yeah, I think we're good. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't do that. We're gonna build... We're gonna build a mine. And we're gonna build it right here it's got to be on mountains so it gets this cool like built into the mountain kind of look to it I'm gonna connect the two right here and that's gonna be my mine and that's where I get ores from to make 
metal, which I build with. And now that this is done, I'll show you. You can have Arms Workshop, which I have not touched yet, so that will be new. Um, your semiconductors, found, Semiconductor Foundry, haven't used that yet either. I'm assuming it has to do with more advanced uh, buildings. And spare spares workshop, spare parts. That's important because if my stuff breaks down, I need to fix it. How can I tell? Is that power? No, that's that's. Where's power? How do you get a readout of power? Is this it? I don't know. Whatever. I'm not entirely sure how to check what your power, like, what, how much you have or whatever. But this is filled up. That's good. That means it's not going to go out at night. Uh, so with that being said, without having to worry about that, I'm now going to build a biodome. Right here. And I'm going to connect it here. And that's going to be... Oh. That's going to be where we grow our food. And we'll cover more of that next time on Pylon's Play. Next time on Indie Play Day. <laughs>